الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق وسيد المرسلين محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And I bear witness there is no Lord but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad, the son of Abdullah, is his last messenger and prophet. Indeed, whoever Allah grants guidance will never be misguided. And those who Allah has sent astray will find guidance nowhere so ever. The best words are that one of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran. And the best guidance, the guidance of his slave, last messenger and prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وعصى آدم ربه فغوى ثم اجتباه فتاب عليه وهدى قال اهبطا منها جميعا بعضكم لبعض عدو فإما يأتينا فإما يأتينكم مني هدى فمن اتبع هدايا فلا يضل ولا يشقى ومن أعرض عن ذكري فإن له معيشة ضنكا ونحشره يوم القيامة أعمى قال ربي لما حشرتني أعمى وقد كنت بصيرا قال كذلك أتتك آياتنا فنسيتها وكذلك اليوم تنسى These are the ayat in Surah Taha, almost near the end, like half a page before the end. And it, it tells a very serious event that has to do with our own fate as people who live in, on earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and Adam has, uh, did not obey his Lord for Gawa. Gawa means follow his own desire. And that's a sin. Then Allah has selected him with his mercy and give him tawbah. And guidance. Now, there is something called Tawbah, and there is something else called Maghfirah, and there's a third thing called Al Afu or Afu. When Allah accepts, uh, grants Tawbah. فتاب الله عليهم ليتوبوا and Allah grant them توبة so they stop doing the sin so توبة is to put aside your old sin and start new but your old sin is still in record and something has to be done there is a loss you have to pay for it then come Maghfirah, it's a little bit better than Tawbah. Maghfirah in Arabic is to cover the thing. Mean the sin is still in your record, but it's an inactive record. Like as long as you don't go back to that, it will still inactive. Then comes better than both of them. Al Af. Like the Prophet taught Aisha radiallahu anha, Allahumma innaka afoon to hibbu al Afwa fa'afu anni. Al Af is a complete pardon. You never hear about that ever, ever. Not in the hereafter, not repercussion in this life, nothing. And this is what we ask Allah, 
because we, can, we cannot carry the consequences or the punishment of any sin that we do. So today, inshallah, we're talking about ma'afirah and tawbah. When we saw so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continued in Surah Taha, قَالَ هَبِّطَ مِنْهَا جَمِيعًا بَعْضُكُمْ لِبَعْضٍ عَدُوٍ Both jinn and ants were placed on earth out of paradise. Where did Allah created us? All of us, or our soul, in Adam. Where Allah created Adam in paradise. So we're really homeless, sort of speak. Until we go to paradise, we have no home. We are a refugee. And a refugee is prone to a lot of dangers. When a refugee leaves one of these countries that has wars, so some of them go to other countries and establish the faith. The religion. And some of them will turn into bad event, become a, a thief out of need, even a prostitute. So Allah said, On this earth, Allah swear by the night. والليل إذا يغشى والنهار إذا تجلى وما خلق الذكر والأنثى إن سعيكم لشتى. In this life, you are going to go to different walks of life. Some of it bad, some of it good. فأما من أعطى واتقى وصدق بالحسنى فسنيسره لليسرى. For those who have given of what Allah has given them and feared Allah and went on the path of لا إله إلا الله his life is going to be easy. And those who choose otherwise, what Allah giving them, they became so uh, stingy. And then he denied La ilaha illallah and denied dhikr Allah. His life is going to be tough. And then Allah reconfirmed this faith. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ Dhanka means so hard. You walk and you fall and you get up and you fall again. And when you walk, you have no direction. Don't ever think you can do it without Allah. After all, you are a refugee. You are not home. You'll be home when life is over. And you do good. And you meet your Lord. And your Lord accepts you with his mercy and then put you in paradise. And then you are home. Until then, you are a refugee. We all are. And you better imagine it. And the moment before you meet Allah, and you know it's coming, you say, Ya laytani qaddamtu li hayati. Oh, I wish I have done something forth 
for my life. But maybe someone say, but your life has ended. No, the life is not there. It's not here. The life is there. In your home. Woman Hayatu Dunya and Surat, I think Shara. Woman Hayatu Dunya Illa Laibun Wala. Wa in al Akhiratha, Lahi al Hayawan, Lokan Yalamu. And this life is nothing but play and entertainment. And the hereafter is a real life. Now, and I always like to make definitions in the Quran so we, we understand the Quran better. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لَعِبٌ وَلَهْبٌ And many of us do not differentiate between لَعِب and لَهْبٌ. Live play is when you do something that means nothing, that leads to nothing. You don't even think. Like you sit on a paper to scratch just because you're killing time, you're bored. Just because you play something that you don't even think. You, in lab, you don't use your head. And that's called in English playing. Lahu is different. Lahu means entertainment. So Allah saying this life is a play and entertainment. So what's the difference between entertainment and play? Entertainment, you do it with your head. You think. You play chess with your friend. You watch a movie. Something that you get some mental benefit, but still a distraction from Allah. Why? Because you are not supposed to be a ghafil. You are not supposed to be forgetting Allah. But you are busy with something that you use your head. Those who engage themselves all their life in inventing things for the benefit of humanity, but forgot about the hereafter, that's a lamb. Because they can qualify that with remembering Allah and they get the benefit. Those Allah give them the reward in this life. Those who spend a lot of effort making arts, and arts is something good, but it has to be with the remembrance of Allah, and has to be with a cause. If it's done without a cause, it's entertainment. And entertainment for getting Allah turns against you. Because you have to remember Allah. Why? Because Allah said, if you forget him, he will forget you. Allah said, اِقْتَرَبَ لِلنَّاسِ حِسَابُهُمْ وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مُعْرِضُونَ مَا يَأْتِيهُمْ مِنْ ذِكْرٍ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ مُحْدَثٍ إِلَّا اسْتَمَعُوهُ وَهُمْ يَلْعَبُونَ People, the, 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 the hour of the hereafter, have came very close to people. But when they receive an advice and wisdom from Allah, they hear it. They hear it means what? Mean the brain already is aware of it. That's become entertainment. But they acted playing. They acted like playing. And then Allah said, because I, as I mentioned, lahu is something of the heart and the brain. 
Allah says, La hiyatan qulubuhum. Their hearts are in a state of entertainment. He does whatever he likes. If it's his mood to watch a movie all night until he falls asleep, he does it. If, it's, if, if he likes to entertain himself going to Hawaii or Europe, he goes. But Hajj is very hard. Even once in a lifetime. That's entertainment. And they are adamant on forgetting Allah. But why Allah, 1400 years, say, Now, Quran came and said, the reckoning has come. But human qiyamah didn't come yet. Then Allah said, 1400 years. So those who deny the hereafter could say, okay, 1400 years, nothing happened. <coughs> and forgot one thing. That the day of judgment for each one of us is the day he meets his Lord when he dies. We don't wait for the day of judgment. We may not witness the day of judgment. Why? Because Allah has made you your own special day of judgment when you meet him. Prophet Ali Salam said the moment you are in your deathbed, people go through a, a stage of sleep before they die, they call it wafah. And wafah is different than maut. Prophet ﷺ said during that moment, when you doze for about 15, 20 minutes, يَعْلَمُ ابْنِ آدَمَ مَكَانَهُ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ وَالنَّارِ All his deed from the beginning of his life to the end passes by him in that sleep. حَتَّى يَرَى مَكَانَهُ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ أَوْ النَّارِ While he's still in his home between his family. So we all, before we go to the grave, know exactly where we're going. Very scary thought. Make you more sober. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take care of us in that moment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us our sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see our weakness and put us account uh, and, and, and surround us with his mercy. His, only, his mercy is the only thing that we have. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق وسيد المرسلين محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وآله وصحابه أجمعين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحابه أجمعين وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين أبي ذر إن صحيح مسلم إن الماني صحيح has narrated this hadith Qudsi. Ya ibadi innakum tukhtu'una billayli wal nahar wa ana aghfiru al-dhunub 
ولا أبالي All my servants You keep committing sin day and night And I forgive you and I don't care فاستغفروني أغفر لكم So ask me forgiveness I forgive you أنا الله سبحانه وتعالى في سورة الزمر يا أيها الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو التواب الرحيم Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام was so worried about this ummah because he knows there is no other prophet that is coming after and he kept saying to Allah, Oh Allah, my ummah, my ummah, my ummah. Then Allah sent him Jibreel alayhi salam. And told him, Oh Muhammad, you keep saying my ummah, my ummah, my ummah. If you wish, I put the matters of your ummah in your hand. You judge for every single one of them where to go to hell, to, to paradise or hell. You give them mercy if you like. He said, no Allah. You are far more merciful than me and my ummah. That's the mercy of Allah. If you are the lucky one in this life, and you decided and you determined in your heart that there is no Lord but Allah there is no nothing to worry about Allah the mercy of Allah is far bigger than your sins as long as you know Allahu Akbar Allah is the greatest all Allah if you follow the ayat in Surah Taha that I mentioned, then Allah gives us really the answer. What is the answer? Very close to the end of Surah Taha. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ قَبْلَ طُلُوعِ الشَّمْسِ وَقَبْلَ غُرُوبِهَا And praise the name of your Lord before the sunrise. And before the sun sets. وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَسَبِّحْ وَأَطْرَافَ النَّهَارِ لَعَلَّكَ تَرْضَى And through the night and during the day, the, end, the, the ends of the day, keep praising the name of your Lord so you may reach a point of satisfaction. You know when you get up before Fajr about like, uh, half an hour and you go and make wudu and everything and you come out of the bathroom uh, 15 minutes before and, and you make two rak'ah before Fajr and you go through Fajr until sun rises and, and, and you stay another 15 minutes and you make two rak'ah ishraq you feel very good and that's satisfaction لعلك ترضى you are happy, you worship your Lord first thing after he got up, before the sun got up. So you achieve satisfaction. In return, Prophet Salam said, Allah said, Man al fajra fi jama'ah, even in your home with your family. Fahuwa fi zibmatillah. He is on the protection of Allah through the day. Very interesting, this hadith was narrated by Abu Bakr, the time that Abu Bakr was in his deathbed. So Abu Bakr said, Man salla al-fajra fi jama'a fahwa fi zimmatillah, فَلَا يُحَقِّرَنَّ أَحَدَكُمُ اللَّهُ فِي زِمَّتِهِ فَيَكُبُّهُ فِي نَارِهِ So if you did this, very good deed, and you know you are protected by Allah, 
and his angel through the day. So do not do bad, do not belittle that, guar that guardians around you. Fear, or always remember Allah. Because if you belittle the guardianship of Allah, Allah may be angry with you. So let us please Allah. In that early moment of the day, and I would like to tell you this. Uh, today, I think is the second, the third of Zul Qaeda. And this is a very blessed month. This is a month haram. And there's a beautiful hadith uh, narrated by Ibn Abbas in Muslim and Bukhari, and it's very authentic. Where Ibn Abbas said, Prophet said, Ma min ayyamin al amal salih fi hinna ahabu ila Allah min hadihi al ayyam al ashr. There are 10 days that is no other time, and that includes the 10 days, last 10 days of Ramadan. A good deed is more beloved to Allah than these 10 days. These 10 days start from Dhul Hijjah. When Dhul Hijjah until the 10th of Dhul Hijjah, until the Eid. 10 days before the Eid. And that's, I think, is around the end of this month or 26 days from now. 10 days. So the Sahaba was wondering why Allah loves these 10 days. He said, even if I do little good be prophet of Allah better than jihad. He said, yes, better than jihad. If you give a sadaqah, if you fast one day, it's better than jihad where you go and die. He accept, the Prophet made an exception. He said it may be except, that means maybe equal or, uh, or, or uh, more. A man who left his home, left nothing for his family. He took all his wealth for the sake of Allah and made jihad and died martyred for the sake of Allah and came home with none of the two. He didn't come back alive. He didn't, he didn't send the rest of his money to his family. It all went for Allah. That is our chance now. If you feel you were not really good in the last 10 days of Ramadan, you have better 10 days coming. And Allah sworn by these ten days, including their nights. Wal-Fajr, Wal-Ayalin-Ashr, Wal-Shafi, Wal-Watr. Allah sworn by these ten days. Allah always give you a chance. Because Allah doesn't want you to say, Ya laytani qaddamtu li hayati. I wish I have done something for my life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our deeds, multiply our, deed, our, our deeds. May Allah for our deeds accept our families, our fathers and mothers who passed away, our children and offspring who are coming. In the day of judgment, if you are good, Allah will bring your father and mother who would not deserve to be in paradise. Not deserve to be in your degree of paradise. And your wives and your children and join them with you in upper class in paradise. Because of your good deed. So be the pioneer in the hereafter. Be the good one. Be the one that doesn't go through hisab.